Begin by roughly setting the length of the adjustable upper channel to the desired surface size as shown in the assembly instruction. Next, use the supplied handle and lock plates to roughly set the length of the upper channel. Do not fully tighten the lock plates on either side. With the help of a second installer, insert the tabs on the upper channel into the end leg. Verify that they are fully seated. Install the first locking plate on top of the upper channel. Use the provided M6 screws to fully tighten. Install the second channel as shown. Next, install the second locking plate as shown. Insert the tabs on both upper channels into the first mid leg. Verify that the tabs are fully seated. Install the locking plates using the provided screws as shown in the steps before. Depending on the length of run desired, repeat the previous steps to fully assemble the frame.
place the center beam on top of the beam mounting brackets. Set the distance from the end of the beam to the outside of the end leg as shown in the assembly instruction. Secure the bottom of the beam to the mounting plate using the provided self-drilling screws. Set the distance of the mid leg to the end of the beam as shown in the assembly instruction. Secure the end of the beam to the bottom of the mounting plate using the self-drilling screws provided. Repeat the steps previously shown for your desired length of run. On the end of the run, set the distance from the end of the beam to the end leg as shown in the assembly instruction. Secure the final end of the beam. For video clarity, the work surfaces have been placed upside down and the frame flipped up on top of it. Set the distance from the edge of the work surface to the end of the leg as shown in the assembly instruction. Using the provided screws, secure the end leg to the bottom of the work surface. Secure all remaining work surfaces in the same fashion. Fully tighten the handle and locking plate on each adjustable upper channel.